This video is so important for us as family members, as students, no, as a human. It's not supposed to make you laugh or cry. These are just facts. We're here to, uh, to express ourselves, to uh, tell you the truth about our real lives, about our families. And um, I really want this project to be as special as we are and as special as our families. Because as students, we don't have the same family. We don't live in the same condition. But the most important thing is that we all love and cherish our families. We all think that family is such an an important thing in our lives. This video is based on true stories, so I hope you like it. Hey, welcome! Hey! Hi! I'm so happy to have you here. Oh, thank you. I wanted to ask you some questions. Okay, it's not a formal interview, but yes. I wanted to, to ask you some few questions about you and your family. But I want you to be honest. I want you to talk freely and act freely. You're so free to do whatever you want and whatever you feel and um, no judgments. Okay, it's alright. Okay. Okay, okay, it's alright. My first question is, are you satisfied in your own family? As a 16 year old girl who lived like in a kind of protective life. So like my, my parents were so protective mm -hmm. but still they were like, they cared so much about me, they tried their hardest to make me feel like other people like and stuff so I'm kind of satisfied, especially that like they're always trying to uh, to be so close to me and my brother. So mm -hmm. my parents are doing such a great job, which makes me kind of satisfied. <laughs> I actually met your own parents, mm -hmm. and I really like them. They're Thank you. so Thank you. wonderful, and um, they're, they're so lovable. Happy. Yeah, <laughs> they're really happy like listening to this. Honestly, I'm really satisfied with my family. I really love all the members. We live in, in a comfortable life. You live in a harmony. Yeah. Yeah, you always agree. Yeah. On every topic. Yeah. Well, actually, it's like... Okay, I'll be honest. I'm not really satisfied with my family. Mm -hmm. It's like we have many complicated things between us. I don't know how to start about it. I mean, okay. That's it. It's just that I'm not really satisfied with it. I want it to be better. My second question is, can you imagine your life without your family? My life without my family will be like a hell. I never and I can never imagine this. I really love them and they really love me. I see that, that they're really, like, really, really, really important to me. As someone who was, like, diagnosed with depression, as a person who was about to kill themselves, they were really there for me. They tried their hardest, like their hardest to stay, like to keep their eyes on me. So I can do nothing that may hurt me, you know. Especially that I had some suicidal thoughts, and they tried all the ways to like make me forget about these stuff. They tried to be like get closer and closer so they can understand what, what's wrong with me and what do I feel and how do I feel so it's my mom it's my mom calling me and she was really there for me like always there for me she tried to understood me and stuff and I really appreciate it I see that they are so important especially even my brother even my brother he was always there when I felt sad or depressed or when I needed shoulder to cry on so they're really important and I'm thankful to have them. Oh, I'm really sorry but... No, it's totally fine. I'm totally okay right now. Yeah, actually it's... Okay, so... Okay. <laughs> okay, I... Uh... <laughs> I'll tell you from the start, okay? okay? Since I was a kid, I lived like lonely maybe. Like, no one took care of me. Even my mom and my dad, they paid like, you know, clothes, food and some stuff like that. But they didn't like... Give you affection. Exactly. They didn't give me affection. They didn't like make me feel yeah. like, you know, that warmth in family and stuff like that. So it's like, I feel like I did everything in my own. Like my education. I mean, not education in school. I mean, education in my life. You know, how not to lie, how to talk with other people, you should do that, you should not do that. I feel like I was the only one who, I don't know, teach, my, teach myself all of that stuff. If you had someday a big problem, one of your family members, how would you react? 
or how would you do to stop this problem? Truly, but it's true. I mean, truly, like, don't have that connection between us. We don't talk, we don't discuss, but I still love that. Even though we're not, like, you know, that close to each other, I still love that. I mean, if I ever, like, see my sis one of my sisters or my dad or my mom in trouble, I would help. I would help without even thinking about it. We, we really don't have problems because we always discuss everything and we never have such a big or even a small problem. Okay, in the future, when you will have your own family, as a mom and as a wife, how do you want to be and how do you want your family to be? If one day I decide to have my own family, I will want it to be like my own family because the harmonious uh, relation and atmosphere are very important uh, to me mm -hmm. and I'm really comfortable so I want my kids and my husband to feel like me right now. One day I had a family like husband and kids and stuff. I would like try my hardest to make my family feel that they always have they're gonna always have someone to go to when they feel the need to talk to person or, or they feel the need when they feel like they're in a big problem. I don't want them to be scared of me. Like I'm talking about my kids. I don't want them to be like oh my god mom's gonna kill me about that and stuff. I, I want them to be like I should call my mom to help me with that. That's what I want. Yeah. Even my husband, like, <laughs> I want him like to be honest with me. He doesn't have to keep things like to himself and stuff. Yeah. You want to be an open-minded mother. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, as you said, I don't. <laughs> I get to mention myself in the family, but if I ever, ever have a family, I would like make it not perfect. There's nothing perfect, but it would be like close family. Mm -hmm. I would like want to discuss things. I want to ask them about their opinion about things and I would never possess things for them like you have to do that, you have to study or you have to do that to be like that something like that Yeah. you wanted to grow up free and confident yeah exactly, yeah if you had the opportunity to change your family would you do it? I won't say that I, like, I would change my family but I would change some stuff in their personalities like I can make my parents less overprotective, like less, less, less overprotective, and I can make my brother less annoying. He's sometimes like, he always want to be with me to the point that I can't have some space. So maybe these are the only thing that I want to change about them. I mean, I want them, I want them to understand that it, I, I really appreciate having them around me all the time and care, caring about me, but still. Sometimes I need some space and I want them to understand that. That's the only thing I wanted to change. <laughs> okay, it's hard to think about it actually, but well, yeah, I would. I would like, I want my dad to be like less getting into my things. I want my mom to be more, more, more honest with herself, with us at least. And I want my sisters to, I don't know, I want them to live in a better family than the one that I left in from my childhood. Childhood. Thank you for being here. I'm so happy and I'm so glad You're always for being welcome. honest. Thank you for being genuine yeah, and um, I really appreciate it. That's alright. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I really had such a good time. Thank, Thank you, you for inviting me. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say that there's no such as perfect family. We all have our own problems and we all have special moments and special memories with our families. I just wanted to say that each and everyone had to appreciate their own, their own family because family matters. And in the end, united we stand, divided we fall. Goodbye.